welcome again lovers of africa of african continent of african people of african culture of african language today we are going to learn on how the african uh, continent or people of africa colonized the european continent do you know this do you know that the africans colonized the Euro part of european continent especially the portugal and the spain if you don't know or you know just join with me you are orator pio Sintinia, so that we move together on this truth the moors were the north african community who settled in the north african uh, continent the moors were darker skinned community who were called babies and later this name was referred to arabs this name was also used to refer to Muslim populations uh, who conquered the Spain and the Portugal and established their kingdom there for more than 800 years. This conquest was done in the Middle Ages around 711 AD. However, this name was used to refer to any person with darker skin or sometimes referred to as black moors in 711 a.d this group of north african muslims led by the baby general the army general Tariq bin ziad captured the iberian peninsula modern spain and the portugal of today as they went there and arrived on the land of, of Spain and Portugal, Tariq burnt his ship eh, so that he may, uh, he may force his fighters to fight a fierce war. After he, he had burnt the, the, uh, the ship, he told them that if you don't fight, you will die here because we have no means of going back and we are surrounded by the ocean. So if you don't fight, then you die. So the army uh, fought, fell to anger. They fought with their own mind, with their own strength, with everything because they knew if they don't fight, they will die. Yes, after a long, uh, a long war, then the, uh, the Moors won the war and conquered these two countries and established their own territory that was called Al Andalus. The Al Andalus territory became the prosperous cultural and economic center where education, arts, and science flourished. The idea of Moors had spread across Western Europe. Moors came to mean anyone who was a Muslim and who, who had a dark skin. Moors were also referred to as Shakespeare's play. Yeah? In Shakespeare's play, the Moors were also referred to as Moors of Venice. Moors created a big city and other big cities in both Spain and Portugal. Their, aim, their main residence was at Granada, where they built a very beautiful palace and a fortress, and they called it Alhambra, according to their language. This was the most beautiful buildings eh, and a palace in Europe and perhaps in the world, perhaps next to palace of pharaohs in Egypt. Moors represented a growing interchange between a, a Europe, Middle East, Asia, and Africa. Actually, there a, in their territory, Al Andalus was the center of business. People from Asia, people from Europe, people from Middle East, people from Africa met there for business. It was a great period for this territory because it, it became the richest territory in the world because uh, a, a big business was uh, operating uh, in the center of this territory. This was the time where Africans conquered and civilized Europeans before Europeans came again and they conquered Africa and, they make, and made colonies in Africa. Moors created beautiful cities in territories. You can see these cities, how beautiful they look, eh? the way you see. Mm. They had one of the most beautiful court building in the world, 
and it was decorated with images of lions eh? you can see even in the modern world uh, this this building is very beautiful and very attractive a european scholar explained about moose by saying the reign of their horses were as fire their faces eh, were black as pitch their faces shone shined like burning candles their horses were swift and leop were swift as leopards and the riders were fierce than a wolf in the sheepfold at night the noble goth the german rulers of spain were broken in an hour quicker than tongue can tell all luckless spain Mm -hmm. This one it was uh, uh, trying to, to tell us how fierce were the fighters of 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 moors and how they killed and 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 they broke and they smashed the, the 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 system that was there in Spain and the Portugal and then they become the rulers themselves. The moors ruled Spain for eight hundred years. They introduced new scientific techniques to Europe, such as astrology. A device for measuring position of stars and the planets they also introduced an, and improved science progress in astronomy chemistry physics mathematics geography and philosophy Basil Davidson one of the most noted historians recognized and declared that there were no lands at that time more admired by its neighbors or more comfortable to live in than the rich African civilization which took shape in Spain. At that height, Cordova, the heart of a Moorish territory in Spain, was the most modern city in Europe. The streets were well paved with raised sideways for pedestrians. During the night, ten miles of streets were illuminated with lamps. This was a hundred years before there was a paved street in Paris and London. People were highly civilized. People used clean water. People dressed uh, uh, nicely. Eh? And the capital of the territory of Cordova had 900 public baths. It is said that the poor Moor would go without a bread rather than a soap. This was just trying to tell us that the city was very clean and a very civilized people. The great mosque, as I said, these people were Muslims, so they, they, they built a very great mosque. And the great mosque of, of Cordoba, or called La, La Mezquita, is still one of the architectural wonders of the world in spite, in spite of the uh, Spanish disfigurements. Huh? Education was universal in Moorish Spain, available to all, while in Europe a big percent of the population were illiterate and even kings could neither read nor write. At that time Europe had only two universities but the Moors had 17 great universities in their territory. These universities were located in cities of Almeria, Cordova, Granada, Juen, Malaga, Seville, and Toledo. In 10th and 11th centuries, public libraries in Europe were non-existent, while uh, in the Moorish Spain had more than 70 public libraries, which one of the, uh, the biggest of Cordova uh, library had 600,000 uh, books. Over 4,000 uh, Arabic words or babies or Moorish words uh, were dissolved uh, or used by Spanish language. Words like uh, algebra, alcohol, chemistry, nadir, alkaline uh, were uh, absorbed by the, the Spanish language. Uh, the most famous Moorish musician was known as Ziriab, the black bird. Uh, he arrived in Spain in 822. Uh, 
was introduced earlier is a version of uh, several music instruments and uh, this musician was very famous and he was highly talented and he was singing in a nice way dressed properly with his singers it was a very glorious time in this territory the moves also introduced paper and arabic numerals to europe which replaced the clams roman system the, the Moorish were living in ador, ador, adorable, beautiful palaces that time. Monarchs of Europe, such as Germany, France, and England, dwelt in, in, in bands, in big bands with no windows. Mm -hmm. You can see how this uh, Andalus city had developed. It was through Africa that the knowledge of China, India, and Arabia reached Europe. The most brought the compass uh, from China uh, to Europe. The most ruled and occupied uh, uh, Portugal until the 12th century, and then they were finally defeated by uh, uh, and, and actually defeated and uh, driven out uh, by the forces of King Alfonso Henriques. Uh, uh, over time, the strength of Muslim Moors diminished creating inroads in uh, for Christian from Europe who smashed their kingdom. For centuries, Christian groups challenged Muslim territorial dominance of Al Andalus. So, in, 19, uh, uh, in 1492, the Catholic monarch Ferdinand II and Isabella I won the, Gra the Granada War and the Moors were completely expelled from Spain. That was the end of more, more colonization in Spain and Portugal, and they colonized those countries for 800 years. Despite their defeat, Moors left their legates in these countries. They left their civilization, education, technology, science, and the development. Uh, uh, up to this time, now their legacy will never end in this time. God bless Africa. Thank you so much for listening to me. Goodbye. Do not forget now to subscribe, to like and to share. You you press there on the on the red there uh, icon. Then you press the the uh, the the, the there. Then issues goes better. Thank you so much. <laughs>